In this video we will build a chat app using Node.js and Pusher. Before we start building the app I would like to remind you that this video can be combined with other videos. So if you want to use Node with any of these frontend technologies I provided some links in the description of this video. The combinations are required so if you finish this video you have to start one of the frontends. Now let's start building the app. So let's create uh, the app. Here I'm at uh, an empty directory and let's uh, run npm init. So I'll pick uh, everything uh, by default. And uh, we have uh, package.json now. So let's uh, add our packages. So npm install, we need express, we need a course and uh, not mon in the beginning. So I'll install this, then I will create an index.js file. And uh, for this file, I will run here in the scripts, I will add start. And uh, this will be nodmon index.js. So to start uh, this uh, server, run node mod, uh, sorry, npm start. So this file is running, but currently it's empty. So let's get uh, express here. So express is equal to require express and also course. Uh, if you don't know what is course, course is uh, the browser will prevent requests from different ports. So this app will use a front end and uh, if that app uh, uses another port that this front end does, then it will throw an error. So we have to require cor course so we can prevent that error. So this is course here. And let's create the app, which is equal to express. And uh, let's use course. So app use course. And uh, we will use uh, multiple front ends and uh, I will add them all here. So origin. So the origin HTTP localhost port 3000 is for React. Uh, I will copy the URL. 8080 is for Vue.js and uh, 4200 is for Angular. So this uh, will allow all uh, the requests from uh, these uh, front-end apps. So we need uh, also to convert the request to JSON. So use express json and uh, I will console log here listening to port 8000 and uh, also we need to, of course to listen to port 8000 so listen here 8000 and that's it if I save we can see listening to port 8000 here so our app is running successfully and now we need uh, to uh, connect with pusher so i will sign in now now i am at my dashboard and i will click this uh, channel which i created so the sandbox plan is free and uh, here go to getting started and uh, this uh, one here is for the client so for the front end and we need to go to the server for the backend and I will change curl to Node.js here. And this is the code that uh, we need uh, to add now. First, we need to copy this and we have to install Pusher. So I will open a new tab here. And second, we have to require it. So I'll copy this part and I will use it here. So we got pusher here. You no need to put your app ID key secret and cluster. Don't use my keys because I will change them after this tutorial. 
And uh, the last part is we have to trigger an event. So let's trigger an event. I'll copy this, but uh, we have to create a route for it. So let's create a route up. We need to make a post request to API slash messages. And uh, this will be a function. Actually, it will be an asynchronous function that will have a request and a response. And uh, I will paste now the message. And we need to await since uh, this is asynchronous. The channel is chat and the event is message. And uh, what uh, we will we send is we'll send a message and a username. So username here and uh, we will get the username from the request. So the username is request.body.username and the message it is the same. So request.body.message and that's it. So we don't want to return anything, but we have to return something. So response JSON, I'll return an empty array. And that's it. This is our app. Now let's try to send uh, an event from Postman. So make sure to install Postman to test uh, this uh, endpoint. And uh, the endpoint is HTTP localhost port 8000 slash API slash messages. A post request and we'll send a JSON with a username John and a message Hi. Let's send the request and if we got an empty array, uh, it means that uh, we successfully sent this request. So we will be able to see it here. But since uh, I tested it multiple times, uh, uh, if you don't have any connections or messages, you will be able to see one here and one here. So this is our app. Now, in order to complete our chat, you have to build the front end. So make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.